Welcome to another Prices Alarms instructional video. I'm Tony the Tech, standing outside of our head office in Victoria. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to change the batteries in your 2 gig smoke detector. Okay, so this is our wireless 2 gig smoke detector. This is going to be on your ceiling and you're going to want to turn this smoke detector counterclockwise about an eighth of a turn to remove it from its back plate and expose the batteries. Uh, make sure that the smoke detector that you're changing batteries on does look exactly like this. If it doesn't, check one of our other videos to find out what type of smoke detector you actually have there. Uh, I've got ours on the table here just for ease of, of explaining it, so I'm going to flip it over and remove it from the back plate, just like so. You're going to see three AAA alkaline batteries in there. And they are snugly fit, so you might need a little screwdriver, a little terminal driver, something like this to help assist in getting those batteries out. I'll go ahead and take those out now. Well, they are tight. Okay. So we've got the batteries out and you want to replace them with the same type of battery. High uh, end batteries recommended, uh, Duracell, Energizer, that sort of thing. And observe polarity, so you can see there's a diagram on the battery compartment here that shows all three batteries are facing the same direction. So the positive end is facing that way. And the positive end is uh, the end that has a little nub on the end. So we'll go ahead and place three of them in, just like that. Make sure they're snugly in and flush with the back of the smoke detector and you're ready to replace the smoke detector on this back plate. You might get a chirp out of it, just uh, indicate it's repowering and uh, you'll want to find on the back plate and on the smoke there's a little line that you'll have to line up. And I'll try to show you that here. You can see a little line and there'll be a similar one on the back plate as well. Once you get, once you line those up, you can give it a, about an eighth of a turn clockwise. You can see them there. And she should be back on the ceiling. And you'll want to check your keypad to make sure that any low battery status or tamper status is clear on the keypad and you've successfully changed batteries on your 2 gig wireless smoke detector.